Hello everybody, it's John from the Gamer Duo here. Today's a special day nonetheless as the Seattle Seahawks are picking up a player in free agency. We picked up Taylor Heineke in exchange for dropping Christian Ponder because he's not been playing well. He's just not been the guy for us this year. Last season he was great as a backup quarterback, but this season he is just not cut out for it. We kept him because we thought he could do it. We thought you know, he is getting old. He's 30-something. I think he's 30 in this game. So, I mean, he is getting to up there in age. But still, it's unfortunate we had to cut him. But Taylor Heineke is now our new backup quarterback. But there was a couple things that we wanted to go through stats-wise as well beforehand. As we are 0-3, we need to have something figured out. The Rams are 2-1, and but the division is looking terrible. And so we are the 32nd offense, so we need to make some changes. Defensively, though, we have a little bit of issues. We're number one as far as defense, but sacks, we are pretty low up there. We have nine, but the biggest concern is our interceptions to fumbles. No turnovers for us. Second, we're tied in last in both in turnovers. We are the worst team in the turnovers besides Tampa Bay. We are tied for that. We are 31st in turnovers. That is not a Seahawks team. Current versions, third down has not been great for us either. We are all the way down under 30. We are the second or the last place, second to last place in that category. Defensively, or red zone efficiency, we are not doing good either. We are down in the 70%, 77%, which is not bad, but it's not great either. But defensive red zone percentage, 100%. We are tied with the Los Angeles Chargers in giving up points in the red zone. That is not good for us. Anyway, let's get into this game. We're going against the Miami Dolphins. We are 0-3. They are 2-1. and So I think that they can handle their own very well. I think we need to get a win. We're at home. Last time we were at home, we did it. But Sherman Massey, a computer-generated player, is their starter, which is crazy to think. So they are definitely in rebuilding mode. We need to catch them now before they get good and do everything that they can do in their power to stop us. We need to get a win. A win is a key thing for us. We need to go into the season getting a W so that we can kind of feel good about ourselves. That is the goal. We need to feel good. It's a feel-good game, and that will change the complexity of everything that is going on if it does not end up the way of a win. If we go 0-4 in the preseason, I am scared for the postseason or not even the postseason excuse me why we wouldn't make the postseason if we were 0-4 uh, I'm just scared in general for a season like the regular season that's what I meant to say um, but everybody's getting ready uh, Jay Ajayi is still the running back and Jarvis Landry they've got a good team they just have a quarterback that needs to hurry then he needs to get up and going we are going to kick it off Greg Zerline he is going to kick and Philadelphia is 0-4 this preseason. Carolina is 3-1. That's a big thing for us. But nothing happens on the Miami Dolphins' first drive, so it's going to be a punt. Chicago ended up going 1-3 in the preseason, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but they got a win, and that's all that matters. Anyway, Tyler Lockett's going to run it. Tyler Lockett's going to get at the 24. Tyler Lockett is going to get tackled down at 31. So Seattle's going to start their first position there. And Seattle's going to run and roll, and he's going to continue rolling. And the first play for Seattle is going to be a run, and he's going to get a few yards. Five yards, it looks like. And so third down and seven after a two-yard loss, Russell Wilson, he's rolling to his left, uh, or yeah, his left again, and he's going to run for the first down and out of bounds. Now, mind you, Thomas Ross is out for eight weeks, so we have CJ Prozac in there, and Wilson to Wilson connection down to the 42, first down, 10 yards to go. Play action fake, Russell Wilson, he's going to go down on the play, down to the 49-yard line. So now it is going to be a third and second and 19, and it's going to be a play action again, and Russell Wilson, he can't find anywhere to go. He's going to throw it deep down the field. And it's caught. Touchdown, Seahawks. Baldwin to for 61 yards. And that is a first. Not a first, but it is a t good touchdown on the day. And Massey's going to throw the screen to Ajayi. And Ajayi's going to get a juke move down to the third 42. So that's four yards. So third down and three yards to go. You have Massey. And he's looking. He's going to throw the deep route or the check route to Blake. Sean Blake. So first at second and ten. Jay Ajayi is going to be on the run. Jay Ajayi has got a good open space. Jay Ajayi. 40. 30. Continuing all the way down to the 25-yard line of the Seattle Seahawks. But nothing happens. So the field goal is going to be kicked and good by Miami. 3-7. Seattle in the lead in this game. It's first down and ten. And uh, Heineke is now in. But J.D. McKissick, he's going to go all the way up to the 38. First and one, J.D. McKissick again on the run. J.D. McKissick is going to get all the way down to the 38-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go. And it looks like Heineke is going to roll. And he's going to run. And Heineke is going to get up as fast 50 down to the 40. He's going to fumble the football. And Miami's going to recover the football. And that has been a problem this season. Fumbles and turnovers has been a big issue. Anyway, number 12, Huffman is going to get it. And Drake is Kenyon Drake is going to get down to the 49. Second down and six yards to go. 
And we have Huffman. He's going to look. He's going to get sacked on the play down to the 46-yard line. Third and 11 yards to go. Huffman is going to get the ball. He's going to look, and he's going to get sacked again. And so now third and 10 for Seattle. And that's going to be CJ Process on the run. CJ Process is going to get up to the 40. And he's going to get a lot of yards down to the 42-yard line. First and 10 yards to go. J.D. McKissick on the run. J.D. McKissick's going to find wide open spaces. And he's just barely going to be tripped up by an offensive lineman down to the 49. Second and two. J.D. McKissick on the run again. J.D. McKissick's going to get past to the 40. And that's where he's going to get stopped at the 40-yard line. 39-yard line, actually. First and 10. And a play action. Heineke, he's looking. Heineke can't find anybody. He's going to throw. It's going to be caught by... No, it's not going to be caught. It's incomplete. First and 10 yards to go. And it looks like it was considered a catch. Okay. Heineke is going to run. And Heineke is going to get all the way up to the 12. Third and two. And J.D. McKissick's going to run. J.D. McKissick's going to get a first down and get dropped at the one favorable spot for the Seahawks. Third and goal. C.J. Process is going to get on the run. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Seahawks. 14-3 to three is your score right now. Six minutes in the game. And so second and 10. Huffman, he's going to look. And he's going to throw. Not throw. He's going to get sacked down to the 19. Fourth and 19 now. It's going to be another punt upcoming for Landry. And Dar is actually going to get the punt. Sorry, he's not Landry. And McKissick is going to get a 25. McKissick's going to run. McKissick's past the 40, past the 45, and getting up to the 50-yard line on that one. Good return for J.D. McKissick. First and 10 yards to go. Heineke, he's looking. He's going to roll to his right. Heineke's going to run. And Heineke's going to take off and go uh, past the 38-yard line. First and 10 yards to go. And it looks like we got a Heineke. He's looking. Heineke can't find anywhere, and he's going to get out of bounds before throwing it. Bad awareness there. Third and 15 yards to go. Heineke's going to throw it. It's going to be caught by O'Leary down to the 32. Amazing play on that one. And with 12 second, one second left, Zerline is going to kick, and it is going to be good. 17-3 to three is your halftime score. Seattle finally, finally putting a half together. Third and 11, Heineke is going to roll to his left, or right, excuse me. Heineke is going to go, and he's going to get sacked before launching it deep down the field. Huffman on this one. He's going to hand it off. He's going to play action fake, and he Drake or Huffman is going to get sacked down to the 20. Second and 18 yards to go, and then Drake is going to get it, and Drake's going to find a room, and Kenny and Drake is going to get a first down on a second and 18. First and 10 now, and Huffman is going to get it to Drake. Kenny and Drake again. Amazing run down to the 49. Second down in inches now, and a, a Kenny and Drake again for the first down down to the 37. This smash mouth in it. And this time again, this is Jay Ajayi on the run. And Ajayi is getting a good run there. Again, up to the 40. Second and three. Kenny and Drake, or Ajayi, excuse me, on the run. He's going to get a first down and a lot of good runs in this one. Third and 14. Forced to throw. Huffman is going to roll. And he's going to get sacked on the play down at the 24, or down at 48 for, for the fourth and 26. And now we got uh, McKissick. JD McKissick's going to get past the 40, 50. He's going to be going on 40, 30. 15, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Seahawks, 24 to 3 is your score, and what a run by J.D. McKissick, down for the 4th and 16, Huffman's going to throw it deep, and Huffman is going to get nowhere, so it's going to be the Seattle Seahawks ball, Huffman is 0 of 6 today, 1st and 10, J.D. McKissick on the run, J.D. McKissick is going to spin, and J.D. McKissick is going to get close to the 1st down, down to the 13, 117 yards, and a touchdown on 9 carries, 2nd and 1, J.D. McKissick's going to run. J.D. McKissick, he's almost there, getting all the way down to the one-yard line. First and goal, J.D. McKissick. He's going to punch it in again. Touchdown, Seahawks. It is 31-3, to and what a half, and what a game to end the preseason so far. And that throw is going to be caught by Cameron, Jordan Cameron, down to the 30, or the first and 10. So that was the first completion for him. Huffman's going to throw it. It's going to be caught by... I couldn't see who it was, but second and inches, Huffman, he's looking, he's going to throw, it's going to be caught again, what a good catch, 3 of 9, 27 yards now on the day, first and 10 yards to go, Huffman, he is looking, he's going to throw, it's going to be a screen down to Drake, Kenyon Drake's going to go out of bounds at the 43, 4 straight completions, 3rd down and 3 yards to go, Huffman, he's going to throw, it's going to be caught, and that's another completion, but a 4th and 9, a field goal attempt by the Miami Dolphins, and it looks like it's way off. No good for the Dolphins. So it's 3-31 to 31 still. So the Dolphins have a first and 10 now. And J.D. McKissick is going to get a run. J.D. McKissick is going to get past the 40. Up almost to the 50-yard line. Third down and four after a negative three-yard run. And it's a play-action fake. And 
Heineke is looking, still looking. He's got wide open area, so he's going to run it, and Heineke is going to get passed down to the 44. First and 10 yards to go. Play action fake, and he's going to fumble it. Heineke fumbled the football, and it's recovered by Riso Yambo. Second down, 27 yards to go. And we're looking. He's rolling to his left. Heineke is going to get past. He's going to get sacked there for the thir third and 33. For third and 33. Heineke is looking. He can't find anywhere. He's going to throw it. And it's going to be intercepted. No, no, no. Down to the 45. Negative two turnovers again today. Turnovers again. We haven't had any. And we get it's negative 11 on the year so far. On the throw though. 20 yards. Heineke is looking. Hoffman is going to continue. He's rolling again. Hoffman is going to run. And Hoffman is going to take it all the way up to the 14-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Hoffman, he's looking. He's rolling again to his right. And he is going to get sacked this time down to the 23. 20 seconds left on a fourth and 19. Hoffman, he's looking. He's rolling. He's going to throw it. And it's going to be caught by Reed for the late touchdown. Miami scores a touchdown. So it's 10-31. to and Heineke is going to run, and he can't find anywhere to go. He's going to just run it, and he's going to get a first down and get past the 40 and get to the 45-yard line with four seconds remaining. And that pretty much ends your game. I guess I added a little bit of, like, play calling. Don't know why. Just forgot to edit that out. Anyway, it happens. Things happen like that. Anyway, Heineke is going to run. And Heineke is unfortunately going to go down on the last play of the game. So the Seattle Seahawks finally, finally, finally take a victory today. 31 to 10. And like I said, finally they did it. They needed it. They wanted it. And they strived for it. I'm glad they got it for the sake of the fact that they got it. So we have the Dolphins who did, didn't did do great. I mean, they did they kept up in the second half, but not really in the first half. That kind of blew wide open. 21-point game. Highlights, though. It's fine. Um. Anyway, Chance Hoffman did not have a great game himself, but Russell Wilson did. And 183 or 58.3 passer rating. Perfect passer rating. Heineke, 2 of 8 for 25 or 31 yards. Not very good. J.D. McKissick, though. 136 yards, two touchdowns. Heineke had 66 yards. Procise had 22. He did not get injured in this game, luckily. And we have a first. Wilson, Doug Baldwin with 51. Vanet with 20. We're not a passing offense. We're really a smash mouth run offense. So, but five sacks allowed. Uh, Sheffield with two. Bakhtiari with two. And Nick Vanet with one. Um, so I think they need to work on that. Kurt Maggot had seven tackles today, leading the team. And then two was the next one. So Maggot had a game for himself today. The 6-3 right outside linebacker. But everybody else had pretty much two and just was typical. Three sacks for Maggot. Two for Bennett. One for Long. So we gave, we had six sacks. Uh, field goals, 4-4. Four, four, perfect. One, one, one putt for 53 yards. But anyway, you have a fantastic rest of your day. Like, comment, subscribe. We're going to take on the Eagles. Unfortunately, with that video, though, it did not go through the way it was supposed to. So it'll be.